This is question number two. It says a publisher checks documents for errors. He records the number of documents that are checked each day. He also records the total number of errors in the documents each day. The scatter graph shows this information. So we've got total number of errors and number of documents checked. On another day, 90 documents are checked. There is a total of 17 errors. In part A for one mark, we need to show this information on the scatter graph. So let's locate 90. 90 looks to be there and 17 looks to be about there. So I can now just put a cross just here. In the exam, yours will be a lot easier to see than it is on here. Okay, so that's one mark. Describe the correlation between the number of documents checked and the total number of errors. This is positive. As one increases, the other increases. So positive for one mark. It says one day, 110 documents were checked in part C for two marks. Estimate the total number of errors in these documents. All I'm going to do now is a line of best fit. This is going to be an estimate. I run the line of best fit roughly through with each now, either side of the point, about the same number. So let's just make that there. And then I'm going to estimate. So I'm going to read up from 110 and then read across from the line. So if I do that, let's find 110. Coming up to my line of best fit, I'm going to read across. And that looks to be around 17 and a half to 18. I'm just going to write down that this is going to be 18. There is going to be a margin of error for this as it's an estimate. So I'm going to say 18. And all I've done is put a line of best fit on and then drawn up from 110 and I've read across.